Hello, this is my coil making setup that I have and uh, what I did was I started off with uh, 18 gauge wire, uh, enamel coated wire. I pre-measured the links to 30 feet each one, which turns out to be about 70 windings um, for the size that I use here. I used a snow seal to help um, keep any of the uh, epoxy from sticking. Uh, as I wind the coils, I put epoxy in there to help keep the, the coil nice and tight. And uh, this piece here I cut into thirds and uh, when I wind the coil in here nice and tight afterwards it, it shrinks enough when I take it off that it'll slide right out of the coil. Alright, so once I get this uh, all back together, get everything nice and, uh, and covered with the snow seal, you could use a car wax or anything like that. Um, I take one end of the wire, I measure about 8 inches off, and this is going to be one of my leads that come off the coil, and I, uh, I wind it up. And as you see here, I'll wind it up and put it on the end and clamp it into this, uh, into this winder. And it just keeps this lead out of the way as you're winding the coil. It'll keep it out of the way, and it also helps to to make a nice uh, to make a nice winded coil. So I clamp it here on the end. And now I'm ready to start winding. Now what I've done is I, I've used a five minute epoxy and off to the side here I've I put a couple of different dabs of the two parts so as I go I can mix up each little section and, and, and put the epoxy on as I wind it. Um, I get the first uh, row going and then I stop and I, and then I, I put the epoxy on. I end up putting in about three different places. I don't coat the whole thing. It's just, an, just to hold it, to keep it nice and tight so when I take it apart, tape it, and then put it into uh, to where I'm going to cast it into the stator, it just holds everything together. Uh, keeps it from coming apart. All right. I've continued... Uh, to wind, and I, I've shortened the video a little bit. Obviously, it takes a little bit longer to wind this up, uh, just so that it's the video is a little bit shorter. Um, but what I do is every probably two rows, I I put the boxy on in in three places, and then I continue to wind it up. I made this uh, this little wind up uh, set up just using a couple of lag bolts um, and you can see it's pretty simple. I laid out the um, the size of the coils according to my magnets and As you can see, this is a time-consuming process right here, but it uh, takes me about 10 minutes to make each coil. So now I got to the end of the 30 feet, which again, it comes out to about 70 turns. And I put the last bit of epoxy on here. And 
and then I wind it around this set screw to, uh, to help hold it tight, keep it in place while the epoxy sets up. All right, afterwards, after the epoxy has uh, set, I just uh, unscrew the, uh, the assembly here. And that, like I said, that snow seal, it works great, keeps it from uh, sticking to the epoxy. So I unscrew that, and then I, uh, then I unscrew the uh, coil assembly. And everything comes apart nice and easy. And you'll see here that this piece will just slide. It shrinks just enough and slide right out. And then the other tail comes out. And there it is. Now I, um, I tape it. And I use just a regular uh, cloth tape. Tape it on three sides. And I've done this for uh, nine coils. I'm going to end up using uh, 24 magnets, 12 magnets per uh, per plate, and um, the next video that I uh, that I do will be showing how I uh, cast the uh, coils into the in the resin for the stator. Here's all nine.